We all love to see our favorite teams put up huge totals on the board, making it extremely difficult for the opponent to chase down. Test cricket has seen 24 teams scoring more than 700 runs in an innings. That's a lot for one innings. Let's look at the top 5 of them all. Number 5. Pakistan 765 for 6 declared versus Sri Lanka at Karachi 2009. In Sri Lanka's tour of Pakistan in 2009, the first test was played at Karachi. Flat pitch to bat on, Sri Lanka won the toss and elected to bat first. Sri Lanka scored 644 runs losing 7 wickets before they declared. Mahila Jayavardhane scored 240 and Thilan Samaravira scored 231. Chasing a mammoth total, Pakistan made a massive 759 losing 6 wickets before they declared. Yunus Khan was the star with 313 runs, which include 27 boundaries and 4 sixes. Kamran Akmal made a brilliant unbeaten 158 runs with half centuries from Yasir Arafat, Fazil Iqbal, and Shoaib Malik. The match ended in a draw. Number 4 West Indies. 790 for 3 declared versus Pakistan at Kingston 1958. The third test of 1958 Pakistan tour of West Indies played at Kingston, Jamaica is famous for many records. Pakistan batted first and made 328 runs in their first innings, courtesy a brilliant 122 from Imtiaz Ahmed. Eric Atkinson was the most successful bowler for West Indies, who took 5 wickets. Rohan Kanai and Sir Conrad Hunt opened the innings. Rohan Kanai was dismissed with the score at 87. Sir Gary Sobers walked on to bat. Sobers and Hunt added 460 for the second wicket before Sir Conrad Hunt was run out after scoring 260 runs. Sir Gary Sobers continued with Sir Everton Weeks and Sir Clyde Walcott to take West Indies' first innings total to 790 runs. Sir Gary Sobers made his career best unbeaten 365 runs, which was the highest individual score till Brian Lara surpassed it after 36 years. Pakistan were dismissed for 288 runs in their second innings. West Indies won the match by an innings and 174 runs. Number 3. England 849 all out versus West Indies at Kingston 1930. In an era when test matches had no time limit, the fourth test of England's tour of the Caribbean was played at Kingston over a span of 9 days. The match started on 3rd of April and ended on 12th April when both teams mutually agreed for a draw. England batted first and made 849 runs before being all out. Opener Andy Shandham scored 325 runs while useful contributions from Les Amis who scored 149 and George Gunn who scored 85. West Indies made 286 in their first innings. England batted again and scored 272 losing 9 wickets before they declared. Chasing a target of 836 runs to win, West Indies batsmen played cautiously and scored 408 runs in 164 overs. George Headley scored 223 and Captain Curl Nunes scored 92. Number 2. England 903 for 7 declared versus Australia at the Oval 1938. In the fifth test of 1938 Australia Tour of England, England batted first and scored 903 runs in their first innings after batting for 335 overs. England finally declared their innings at T on day 4. Opener Len Huttle scored the then highest individual score of 364 runs with Maurice Leyland scoring 187 and Joe Hardstaff Jr. scoring an unbeaten 169 runs. Australia's captain Don Bradman injured his ankle while bowling during the match and had to be taken off the field in a stretcher. Australia, in response to England's massive score, could manage 201 in their first innings and only 123 in their second. England won the match by an innings and 579 runs. This also happened to be the last test before World War II broke out. Number 1. Sri Lanka 952 for 6 declared versus India at Colombo, 1997. India went off to a perfect start in the first test of 1997 India's tour of Sri Lanka played at Colombo. With three centurions, 
India made 537, losing 8 wickets before India declared. Navjot Singh Sidhu made 111, Sachin Tendulkar 143 and a brilliant 126 from Mamad Azaruddin. Nilesh Kulkarni took the wicket of Marwan Atapattu of the very first delivery of his test match career, thus becoming only the 12th bowler in history to achieve this feat. However, the Indians did not have much luck after that. Sanat Jayasurya and Roshan Mahanama put up a partnership of 576 for the second wicket. Jayasurya made 340, while Mahanama 225. After Jayasurya and Mahanama were dismissed in quick successions, Aravinda De Silva made 126 and Arjuna Ranatunga 86, while useful contributions from Mahila Jayavardhane, who made 66. The Lankans batted for 271 overs to score 952 runs. The match ended in a draw and Sana Jayasurya was adjudged the man of the match. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel for more informative videos on cricket.